We've had a lot of cool things on today's show, and right now it's time for Cool Science with Rachel. Hi. How are you doing, Rach? I'm good. What's up? Well, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing here. What's up? I'm trying to determine which of these liquids weighs more. Well, they look different, but it's the same amount of liquid, so oh. it should weigh the same, right? Oh, no, no, just because it's the same amount of liquid does not mean it weighs the same. Don't you know about density? Density. Yeah, so density is basically how much stuff is getting packed into the liquid. So it's really about how tightly all the atoms are being compressed. Oh. And I actually can do something really cool to prove to you that all these things have different densities. Yeah, you're gonna put it on a scale, right? Oh, I'm not gonna put it on a scale. I'm gonna make something really beautiful. Do you wanna see it? Yeah, I'd love to see it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, well, just a reminder, don't conduct any experiment or demonstration without the supervision of an adult. And I'm glad you're here. I need an adult today. Oh yes, I'm ready. So what I'm going to be doing is just taking a bunch of liquids that I found around my home and seeing just what their density is, what those differences are. So today I'm going to be using some honey. I've got some dishwashing liquid. I've got water. I've got vegetable oil and I've got some rubbing alcohol. All different densities. Yes, and I'm going to be putting them all in this clear cup. You can also use a glass or if I had a really nice beaker, but I'm yeah. really interested in just making a real pretty little rainbow in this sure, cup. Sure. And to make things even prettier, I also added some food coloring to some water and to the rubbing alcohol. My okay. water is going to be red, my rubbing alcohol is going to be green. So first, you're going to want your goggles, David. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, safety first, as always. Absolutely, of course. Fantastic. So all of my liquids are already lined up from what is the most dense to the least dense. And I'm just going to pour them in in that order. OK. Great. So I'm going to start with my honey. Take it away. Ooh, it's kind of sticky. Let me see. That's the most dense of all these liquids. This is the most dense liquids. of all the liquids. It usually is. It takes a long time sometimes Ooh, to, yeah. get, to pour that out. Great. So now I'm going to need this dish soap. Honey. I'll just pour it right from the bottle. And you're actually going to be able to see that because of the difference in densities, all of these liquids are going to start to separate and form very definitive lines. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look. It's sitting on top. It's not mixing together. Okay. Next, I'm going to take some water, which I've dyed red, okay. so it'll look really special. All right. Just from the Red Sea. Oh, yeah. And actually, you know, it works a little bit better if I pour on the spoon to really slow down. Okay. Otherwise, it like would Ooh. cut through and get all messy yeah. and mix it up, huh? Let's see. Look at that. Yeah, now I'm going to move on to the vegetable oil. I can pour right from here. Once again, just to keep it separated. Now, vegetable oil, oil is less dense it than is water. It is less dense than water. I didn't know that. Okay. Did you know that? Well, I think it's we're going to find out real fact. fast. You do need a little bit of patience with this experiment, but the results are pretty cool. You can see these very definitive that stats. Is so cool. And the last one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my green rubbing alcohol. Is and that put scope it on top. or like mouthwash? It's just rubbing alcohol. Like what you know, I think don't you use it to like clear out wounds and like maybe Clean disinfect? Sure, yeah, disinfect. to disinfect. Let's see. Look at that. Is it getting on top of the vegetable oil? Whoa, this could make a it big is. mess. It could make a mess. The kids are doing this mess. at home. So <laughs> make sure, make yeah, sure you make sure you're doing this in a kitchen. Yeah. So look at that. You can see very definitive lines where all the different things have separated. It's and like you know, it was I did destiny. One and the, the more that you let it sit out, the more definite the lines become. See, look at that. It's a beautiful oh, wow. rainbow. This look looks at really that. cool. That is beautiful. So what's happening is that all of these liquids have different densities, and so they're not going to mix. Now, some liquids with different densities, like water-based liquids, they will have a tendency to mix. Those yeah. are hydrophilic liquids and they want to mix together and oh, if they don't okay. want to mix together like water and oil they will never mix they're hydrophobic if I poured water and oil at the same time they wouldn't mix but here we can see that the most dense liquids weigh the most they're sitting at the bottom the least dense liquid is always gonna sit at the top that is so cool thank you Do so much for a making rainbow. us a jello salad liquid concoction yeah, here of course it was destiny that you would be here today oh, or it was de density I'm not de sure which density. one You're yeah right density. <laughs> yes you know McFly, yes. McFly. Thank you so much, Thank Rachel. You, David. That was fantastic.